Hi, this is uh, Pierce Paul, um, corn and wheat pathologist at The Ohio State University. And today I want to walk you through a short video on how to identify fixed growth stage 6. This is, a, this is the first in a series of videos I'm going to do on how to identify wheat growth stages starting with fixed 6 right up to the end of the season. Um, these tillers were pulled from one of the early maturing varieties out of the Snyder farm. Today is um, April 20th and this particular variety is already at the fixed growth stage 6. Like I said, this is an early maturing variety so some of the other varieties on the farm or across the state may not yet be at this growth stage. However, I expect that most wheat in the southern half of the state should already be at fixed growth stage 6. So I'm going to help you walk you through this example on how to identify fixed growth stage 6. So here we've got two clusters of tillers that I pulled from that plot and as you see here um, you can look at these tillers and it's hard to tell what growth stage it is just by looking at the tillers. So what you want to do is remove the primary tiller so in this cluster here this big tiller here is probably the primary tiller so you want to remove multiple tillers and always when you do growth stage assessment you don't only want to look at one tiller you want to look at multiple tillers so pull multiple tillers multiple primary tillers from this group or from this group and then you once you have your tillers separated and I've already done that so here we've got three tillers that are separate from the rest of the group these are three primary tillers you want to remove all the lower leaves so all these lower leaves here the ones that are dead this small one here, you want to remove all the lower leaves and when you remove the lower leaves you look for the node at the base of the stem. Then at this growth stage the node should be anywhere between one and two inches above the base of the stem. So you want to remove those lower leaves and look for the node at the base of the stem. And here we've got three tillers with those lower leaves removed and here you've got tiller one, tiller two, and tiller three all three of these tillers are at fixed growth stage 6. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see the entire length of the tiller and then zoom in so that you can see the node at the base of the stem. Here in this case the node is about an inch and a half above the, the base of the stem and here on this tiller here the node is about two inches above the base of the stem. Both of these tillers here are at fixed growth stage 6. This one here that looks small so don't be deceived by the size of the plant it's already at fixed growth stage 6. So if you see the node at the base of the stem, it means that you are at fixed growth stage 6. This is a very important growth stage from the standpoint of wheat management. This is the growth stage at which we recommend that you should complete um, nitrogen application by this growth stage. And for some herbicides, we do not recommend application beyond this growth stage. Another very important characteristic of this particular growth stage, if you split the stem just at the point where that node is, here if you st split this stem here, or this one here, or this one here, you will see the head is already formed just above that node. And here we've got one example where I split the stem, and here this little thing that's sticking out there, that's the node already formed just the, sorry, that's the head already formed at just above that node. Now at this growth stage, the head is already formed. The number of spikelets on the head is already formed. So there's nothing you can do from a management standpoint that's going to affect the head or the number of spikelets on the head. What management is going to do from here out is going to affect grain fill. It's going to affect how well those that head develop, how well the spikelets develop, how well the grain develop from here on out. So um, that's my demonstration for today. Next week or the week after, I'm going to share a video with you showing you fixed growth stage 7, then after that fixed growth stage 8, and so on until we get to the end of the season. So again, just a quick recap. Fixed growth stage 6, you've got a cluster of tillers in the field. You pull the primary tiller, which is typically the biggest one in the set. You pull a couple of primary tillers. Once you have those primary tillers separate, 
you want to remove the lower leaves, the small leaves, including the dead leaves. You want to remove all the lower leaves, strip those down. And once you remove those lower leaves, you want to look for the node at the base of the stem. And if you see the node at the base of the stem, about an inch to two inches above the base of the stem, you're at fixed growth stage six. You can go a little further by splitting the stem at that node and looking for the head. It's already formed, it's already sitting there. This is the growth stage at which we recommend that all nitrogen applications should be complete by this growth stage. And for some herbicides, we do not typically recommend nitrogen application beyond this growth stage. In terms of fungicide application, our research shows that under Ohio's conditions, we don't see a benefit from fungicide application at this early growth stage in terms of disease control or in terms of yield increase when you compare applications to applications made at fix eight. So we typically don't recommend fungicide application this early on the conditions in Ohio. Thanks. Until next time, we'll talk about fixed growth stage 7.